warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up guys? Uh, <clears throat> yesterday I made a video showing some Bobcat sets that I was having troubles connecting with the Bobcats. Well, I just got a notification. We have a Bobcat in a trap. I'm excited because it's been a kind of a pain in the butt the last... I'm having battery issues with the GoPro and they're right here. They're right here by the charger in the shed. It's a good thing I just got an 11 today and it's a bunch of batteries. So we're going to upgrade to the 11. This one has uh, seen better days. But like I said, we have, a, we have a Bobcat on camera in a trap. The traps are not being used to check my traps or the cameras. We're using the cameras for observation. I wouldn't know if I had all them other uh, Bobcats walk past my sets. So if you're trapping, you have to, if you, if you got regs where you got to be out there every day, you gotta, like in Missouri, you physically gotta see your traps every day, every every 24 hours, so. Just wanna make that clear before I guess comments saying that you, you know how people are, so. All right, I'm gonna get out there. We're gonna go see what we got. Stay tuned. Oh guys, I can hear him. I can't see anything yet. I'm getting pretty close. That's a... Pretty good walk. Hopefully he's caught good. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Oh yeah, perfect bad catch. Whew. Looks like it's gonna be a Tom. <laughs> a very pissed off Tom. I got another set there, guys. I showed it to you in yesterday's video. I'm pretty close. I'll bring it back. All right, I'm gonna grab out another light here. Stay tuned. All right, this gets us a little bit more light. Just a beautiful cat. This is our typical, we're starting to get them typical Missouri cats. He's only been in this trap about an hour, so he's pretty feisty still. kind of dark it's a beautiful cat guys dirt hole all predator bait <sighs> oh fuck <laughs> only reason there's oh fuck here which is my long call is because that set caught a skunk so I went ahead and put the oh fuck over here well there's our cat boys we did it now we just wait for the rest of them to come through all right, I'm gonna get him taken care of. And we'll do a remake. <laughs> he is very pissed off. Stay tuned. All right, guys. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see what we got going on here. We've got uh, Duke 650. Pretty sure he's a toast right now. Just wanna make sure. Duke 650. <clears throat> Perfect pad catch about an hour ago. That's awesome. All right. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, got a lot of white belly on this one. Kind of hard to tell in the dark, but it's mostly a brown on the outside, which is perfectly fine. But. Small tom. That makes four toms and one female so far. That's crazy. Just realized I forgot my shovel or my uh, hammer. I kind of just rounded some stuff up. We're just going to drop this right back in the hole and get out of here. 
find our old dirt hole here. It's right there. I found something. Someone commented a DeWalt stand, light stand. So that's what I want to get. You could, it'll raise up seven feet and I could have it right here pointing down. So I need to get that. I just heard something. You know how it's gonna be, everything's making noises out here in the woods. We are in Missouri. As you can see all the feathers and stuff come out. He didn't even get any of it out of there. So we're gonna put it right back in. Put that log right over the hole so that the angle is to where the, the easiest part for him to see lines him up. And we're gonna put him right here. This is gonna be a goofy. Remaking in the dark sucks. Is there a country song? You and me going setting traps in the dark. <laughs> oh my god this is not a time to get caught in here should have brought the wife we could have sung that together that's priceless all right pan cover we're using up these uh if you if you actually took these off at the end of the season and put them in a ziploc bag and kept them safe of smells you wouldn't have to do like i do and just use them on cassettes <laughs> but I don't take care of them and I have been catching coyotes with them still everything's here for if that if that's a cat was with another with with the other cat the other day there's a very good chance he the other one's gonna come looking like hey where'd Jim go All right, well, I brought some sheep's wool because I didn't realize everything was going to be in the hole already, so we really don't need that. I do got some more predator. This is uh, just an awesome, awesome for number five. It's hard to believe already, so. All predator in a hole. We ain't gonna send it with anything. It's already still here. And I'm kind of in a hurry. It's late, but that's a beautiful cat. Look at that guy. Beautiful number five Missouri cat. Now this is on that other other property that I've yet to catch one this year. The rest of them have all been on that other property in a the exact same trap. So finally got one somewhere else. So all right. Stay tuned, I'm gonna, we'll weigh him. It's not a very big one, but we'll throw him on a scale anyways. He's heavier than I thought he was. Of course, I just carried him a long ways. But he, he definitely shit on me, I can tell you that right now. And it's not a good smell. All right, let's see, uh, 20 pounds probably. Nope, not quite. Still a nice cat, nonetheless. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, we got 19, 19 pounds. That's not a bad cat. Pretty well spotted up. That's no good. The business down there. Oh gosh, goes. Yeah, we're bleeding on the floor, but that's typical. Kind of wish I had it over the drain. That'd be more practical. Maybe put a cable across there, the antler chandelier, and then run it down over the drain. So, all right, guys. Well, we did. The war on the bobcat is officially over after two days. I just could not believe that I had two bobcat meandering around my chaps like that so i'm pretty happy that makes bobcat number five with our 10 goal so we'll see what we get to maybe we'll break that 10 goal and 
keep on cruising. I don't have, it might look like I got a ton of Bobcats, but I really don't. I mean, they're kind of spread out. I'm not like down in Texas where everybody's catching five a day. It's just, they're a challenge here and we're having fun getting them. This is a, this year I said I was gonna focus on Bobcats. So you guys hear the, the guineas back here scratching around. I turn the light on and they instantly, whoop, time to eat. So, all right, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the, <laughs> would you, uh, I figure when I uh, get one on camera, I'm just gonna go, no matter what time it is, I'm just gonna go get him out. So, stay tuned.